Hi, I'm Mike and this is a demonstration of my 3D photogrammetry rig for small items. What we have here is a rabbit skull in 3D Zephyr light. I used 101 images to create this model and it's got some good detail. Some teeth are in place, there's missing teeth, and it's got the fine points of the bone structure, which is why I've chosen this item to test and demonstrate the rig. The camera that I've used is an old Fujifilm S9600. It's a bit dated, but I do get good results with it. What you can see is that the camera positions are completely uniform, both vertically and horizontally. Now, that's not something you can do by hand, so you've probably guessed by now that this was all taken with an automated process. And here it is. This is the jig that does the work. It turns the object around, taking pictures as it goes, then moves the object to a different vertical angle and repeats so you get an all-round view for the software. When it first powers up, it finds its place with a limit switch just like a 3D printer does, in case it was moved from its last position. To save time for this demonstration, I've got it doing three vertical positions with just two photos per revolution. The single beep is when it sends the signal to the camera to take the photo, and the double beep when the revolution is complete and it moves to the next vertical position. It's powered by an Arduino board with two small 5 volt motors doing the work. I know it's underpowered and that I do need to start designing a bigger one. I've made the Arduino program so that it's very easy to change the number of vertical steps and the number of pictures per revolution. At the moment it's got a physical camera output to the Fuji camera remote which is the little click that you hear just after the photo beep. But I've also got an infrared trigger built into the programming to activate a Nikon at the same time. At the end, it finds its place again and then resets to level. This is the whole thing working together. The jig body is 3D printed and the total cost for the project, not including the remote and 3D printing, was just over £16. I'm sorry, but I haven't got the files available anywhere at the moment, as there's still a few things I want to do to improve it. Thanks for your time, I hope you enjoyed seeing it.